Hi YouTubers, Mr. Fitz back again with another video. Taking a quick look at the iPad Mini, 7.9 inch. This is the non-retina version. Since it was released, they've actually brought out uh, another model, which is the uh, iPad Mini with Retina display. That is slightly more expensive, unfortunately. This version has a UK retail price of 249. Um, the one with Retina display, um, same model, 16 gigabyte retails now at 319. Other differences are the Retina display model uh, uses an A7 chip, 64 bit. Uh, this one uses the A5 dual core chip. Apart from that, there's a slight difference in the weight, it's only a few grams. This one's 312 grams. The Retina display model is 341. Bluetooth is Bluetooth 4. Uh, the Wi Fi specification is 802.11 A, B, G, and N. And uh, as aforementioned, the weight of the iPad Mini uh, non Retina is uh, 312 grams, approximately 0.68 pounds. And one of the things I am going to be doing today is giving you a size comparison with an iPad 2 which I have here with me. Um, if you visit Apple's website they do an iPad comparison which features the iPad Air, iPad 2, iPad Mini with Retina Display and the iPad Mini. Let's, uh, let's take a look at what we've got as usual. Apple presentation has to be five stars. Trademark minimalist packaging. Oh, as sweet as a nut. There we go. Yeah. In the uh, in the box, obviously. Charging plug. Lightning connector to USB connector and charging lead. And uh, let's actually just see what we've got in here. iPad mini, quick start guide. And trust me, it is very quick as well. <laughs> Obviously, we live in a day and age of switch on and start to use. Put that to one side. As usual, lots of plastic to take off. Try and do it carefully. There we go. And the first thing that strikes me about the iPad Mini, uh, I do like the finish. Um, that sort of matte, anodized, as it were, finish on the back. So what we can do is just tell you a little bit, very briefly, about the actual uh, iPad Mini itself. Front facing camera is a 1.2 megapixel and it shoots 720p HD video. Uh, and that's gotta be very, very good. Uh, the rear facing camera is better spec, 5.0 megapixels, five megapixels basically and it shoots full 1080p high definition video. Um, screen resolution on this particular one is 1024 by 768. Top of the unit, you've got the power, wake, sleep button, we've got the microphone, and we've got the jack plug. And looking to the bottom, of the unit we've got stereo speakers and the lightning connector which as far as I understand um, is a faster connection so waiting an eternity for your iTunes uh, syncs should be a thing of the past uh, also you can put the plug in either way 
so it doesn't really matter which way in now you put the plug. That isn't an issue anymore. A couple of differences between this version of the iPad Mini and the Retina Display version. Um, the Retina Display version has nice little touch with the three times video zoom when you're shooting um, video. Pixels 326 on the Retina Display and on this one 163 per inch. So the resolution on this screen is 1024 times 768 on the Retina Display it's 2048 times 1536 and also just while we're on the subject of specifications just to give um, you keen uh, photographers uh, some interest the aperture is equivalent to f2.4 f2.4 the FaceTime HD camera um, 1.2 megapixel uh, 720p HD video FaceTime video calling over Wi-Fi or a mobile network has face detection, backside illumination and the EyeSight camera that will be 5 megapixels with autofocus, face detection, backside illumination has a 5 element lens, a hybrid IR filter and as aforementioned the aperture is equivalent to continuous f2.4 which if you don't understand photography um, that equates to a, a sensitive uh, lens which can capture uh, a lot of light and take on a lot of light um, so in a dark situation um, this is going to be uh, an advantage also to mention uh, HD video recording is in full 1080p uh, tap to focus while recording you have video stabilization to help to eliminate all wobble uh, face detection and backside illumination and what I'd like to do now very quickly is just bring into shot let's turn it round that way that is an an iPad 2. Now, if you bring the iPad mini in to shot, the difference is not vast, the difference is not vast at all. In fact, the difference in thickness is um, a lot less uh, than you'd think. 8.8 millimeters. The iPad 2 thick and this one is 7.2 millimeters so all, all in all it's a fantastically uh, slim line package and as I say the, the finish on this one I do I do think is a, a lot a lot better than the original iPad um, or the original iPads because they pretty much get the same finish right up to the, uh, the new iPad Air. The new iPad Air is out at the time of making this video, it's now available. iPad Air, big brother to the iPad Mini and uh, as I was saying, this has uh, also a sibling, the iPad Mini Retina display um, with a full range of uh, cellular, cellular options I should say. So if you was going for the Retina version of this, you'd have um, 16 gig version, 32 gig version, 64 gig version, um, a whopping 128 gigabyte version, which uh, in the Retina display uh, would set you back the princely sum of 659 pounds. The Wi-Fi version of this one, 16 gigabyte, is 349, which, um, if you compared it to the standard 16 gig Wi-Fi Retina display 319, you'd be paying £30 with this for the Wi-Fi. Uh, sorry for the cellular, which um, would be a big advantage if you're out and about. You'll be able to do uh, a bit of mobile interneting. If you're not really up with Apple and their specs, the average battery life on the iPad, like its big brother, is about 10 hours. They do manage to squeeze a, a lot of usage 
from the battery, which is good news for all you power users and gamers. Um, the new lightweight mini is it's got to be a welcome, welcome addition to the uh, Apple lineup. Um, and I'm sure it will be a big, big, big hit with the young and older um, users alike. Uh, not only in the UK, but probably around the world. Um, I think in its this new finish and this new this new form factor, I think it's a really, really, really desirable piece of Apple technology, and it, it just really enhances the the reputation Apple have for quality products. So if you're on the market for a small tablet, the Mini is definitely one for your. Uh, scrutiny and attention. I certainly wouldn't be walking past it without having a second look. In terms of my rating, I'm definitely giving it five stars without, without question. This is the best yet, I think. As we said earlier, uh, it's also available in the high resolution retina display. So if you don't mind spending a bit more, this would be another serious contender for your attention. That's it for now YouTubers. Thanks for watching this video. I hope I helped you a little in making a decision if you just wanted to have a look. Uh, I'll see you on the next video and uh, this is Mr. Fitz saying bye for now.